So I decided to show you how to take off the interior door panel of the S2000. Um, there's going to be uh, screws in here, here, and then one in here. Um, basically, you can just take your fingernail and at the edge, and this will little cover will come off. Uh, you take this one off as well. Um, I already removed the screw here. If you were to lift up in there, um, you take off the screw, and then this cover will come off. So. What you want to do is, you're going to have to twist this. You're going to have to twist this to mimic a... Uh, twist this to get it off the thing. Ah, it's doing, I'm doing it one-handed guys, please. Please, please. Give me a break here. There's going to be two Phillips screws in here. I wish I had a dedicated cameraman to hold my camera while I do this because I would do it a lot faster. All right. I'm probably going to speed this up, honestly, so that you guys don't have to like, watch me do this. So, how about those Olympics? So, the United States is just whooping everybody in swimming. It's like, seriously, if it wasn't for swimming. Or like, like half our medals right now are in swimming. Redunk. Where are you at? Alright. Set it up so you can see me take it out. Yeah. Start up from the bottom. around pop and clips and then you're gonna lift up lift up make sure all right so you're going to detach the plug for the tweeter going to unclip the controls for the window. One-handed, y'all. One-handed. <sighs> Hopefully you enjoyed that uh, update. This is actually the place where the crossover is going to go. I'll probably make an incision just for the, uh, the wires to come through, but um, I'm going to need some double-sided foam tape to keep it secure. And I don't want it to move around and uh, possibly get loose, but pretty much that's it, guys. Um, I am, if you can look at the other side, I am running like uh, the MDF, some custom, they also sell the MDF uh, wood, uh, supposedly for the uh, the plastic, uh, removing the plastic speakers and using an MDF one. 
Yep, I'm wiring up these speakers. Wiring up these speakers. All right, guys, uh, that's how you do that. And I'm gonna get done finishing wiring up uh, my speakers so that I can do the install. So stay tuned. All right, here is my Polk Audio speaker install. I did run um, the wires through here. And you can measure the distance because this is where this is where the crossover is going to be. Uh, I'm going to wire up the crossover right now. If you can tell, here's the crossover. Um, this is going to be the input. So originally, the input is going to be the what's connected to the chassis, the chassis speaker wires. So the original plug that you unplugged from your stock speaker. Um, those wires will be led into here. So this is the input. Uh, this is going to go into the six and a half inch speaker. Uh, they put a woofer. And then the tweeter is going to be installed here. Um, obviously negative and positive. Uh, I am, I'm going to need uh, to go to the store to get some double sided tape to mount it um, onto the inner speaker panel. And then I'll probably get like some type of um, lightweight foam or some something something along those lines so this doesn't uh, I live in Vegas so the heat will probably um, melt that glue and I, I don't really don't, don't want it to be rocking around in there when you close your door you're gonna hear a little rattle or something like that it'll annoy me so um, that's basically it I'm just gonna go ahead and strip the wires and uh, you're gonna strip the wires and then um, tighten them down with the Phillips and there it is I will have to finally install the tweeter, but as you can see, uh, it's installed with the positive and the negative. Uh, that's a quick rundown. Um, there's plenty of enough space. I'll probably tuck the wires in a little better to get a good, uh, nice clean finish. Whew. What's going on guys? Uh, this is my audio install, um, an update. Man, I'm hot. Uh, it is probably like 105 outside and I have a swamp cooler in here so it just makes it more humid and, and hot so anyway um, I am showing you the update for uh, my audio setup for my S2000 uh, as you can see I've installed the uh, my component speakers um, as well as the tweeter uh, as you can see I have a just a a whack spaghetti of wires but my cro crossover is I put some double-sided tape on there so it holds um, it should be fine the compartments kind of enclosed to the plastic so I don't think it's gonna fall out uh, hopefully it doesn't uh, I use some 3m super duper duty tape really expensive stuff for that tape it's like five feet it's like ten bucks so Anyway, uh, here is the install. I'm going to test it out right now. I'm going to set my... Alright guys, we're going to test the deck out. Um, I didn't install everything until I get everything tested. So I didn't really fit everything in. Uh, you shouldn't either with anything. If you, know, you want to double check and make sure um, before you tighten everything down. and be a waste of time. So uh, I just want to test out the the deck. Make sure it turns on. Oh, I'll give you a little t t sneak peek of the bump. That's actually pretty. That's actually like really super duper loud, actually. Um, but as you can see, my my controls work um, on the um, on my uh, left side. I don't know what is this, what is this called. I don't know what is this called, guys. What is this called? This unit here. But anyway, I am uh, utilizing this, 
and it works thanks to tada awesome gravy and uh as you can see i'm using got the, the dci bam bam so everything works good if you guys are wondering uh, where i put the amp there's actually a little panel under here and uh, i ripped it the panel out i didn't rip it out well technically i did rip it out it didn't break like it i didn't rip the thing but anyway anyway i took it out and then there's a perfect spot for the for the amp in there i wrapped it in foam and I zip tied it together uh, so it wouldn't make any noise. It looks pretty secure, I'm sure. You know, there's something to the right or the left of it, so I don't think it's going to uh, make too much noise or fall out. But everything seems pretty legit. Uh, the man, the, the it sounds pretty good. I wish you were here. I know this is not going to be like an award-winning audio show car or whatever like that. But for what I need it for, uh, it's it's a lot louder. It sounds better. And yeah, so everything works fine and dandy. Um, yeah, awesome guys. So that is the uh, audio overhaul. If you are interested in more, I will finish with the, as you can see, there's a hard top. I got to finish the hard top. Uh, I'm redoing the seals on the hard top. I'm going to prep it for paint. I'll paint it and then finish the, uh, the turbo install. So. We're going to get this whole car ready to rock and roll, so stay tuned until next time. Thank you.